Welcome back to another video and today I am back with the last race of this year, of the season that uh, has already been like confirmed or whatever. So, last Sunday I was at, I was in Brixton. Um, I think I might have mentioned it before that Brixton is my least favourite track because um, it is so, the, uh, if you're in gate one on this first straight, on the right of you there's about a 20 foot drop to the last straight. And the last straight, about every jump's about this far apart. So, yeah, it's not looking good. So, let's get into the race recap. So, as it was Brixton, and as the regionals and the South series are already over, you would have already, might have already guessed that it was a London series. So, this year, that means that I was riding Cruiser on Sunday, which, going into Sunday, I was in first place, and I think I was about 30, 20, 30 points ahead of second place. So yeah, I was I was happy. I was look it was looking good for me to get a trophy. So race one, it had already been raining throughout practice, and I just did I did one free practice like open practice, one lap, and then I did like two or three gates. I didn't I actually forgot that they had a um, barrel gate at Brixton, which is actually pretty good. I thought they had a flat one like Greenwich or Hurston or something like that. So yeah, they had a barrel gate, which wasn't too bad. So. They, I think they had the whole gating system that Cycle Park have, and it was similar timing, so it wasn't too bad, even though it was raining. So that was the, that was what it that's what made it a bit worse because it was slippery. So yeah, in my practice gates, I did slip up. My back wheel did like spin up when I came out the gate. So hoping I wasn't going to do that when I raced. So race one came around. I think I had gate. I think I had gate six because I think I had gate six, then gate eight, then gate three or whatever way around so yeah so gate six is what I said <laughs> gate six wasn't too bad um, I knew I just had to get out in front of maybe I had gate three actually so <clears throat> gate three knowing that I had some of the competition that I knew were quick the quick were quicker than the rest so they I they were a bit of the competition so I just had to gate quick and the gate goes down and I I fly out either side of me. I can see a couple of riders like lingering just 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 past me, just behind me. So uh, it was looking good at that point. And then going into first bend, I just tried to. I went wide because at Brixton as well, the track gets even better because every berm. So the first berm is a big berm all the way around to the second straight because the track goes in on itself. Um, it none of the berms. So the berm. So some berms have like. A, like a wall, like Olympic Park ones, where you just have to like you just you ride in. It's more like a a wall than a berm. Um, and then you have other tracks like Cycle Park or something. They're actual berms, where you can turn on, you can drop down high low, whatever. But Brixton has got two set two bits. So there's a little bit of berm at the very left of each berm, or very right on the last berm. And then it just like goes to flat. So if you wanted to do, if someone's in front of you and you wanted to do a high low on them, you couldn't really perform it as I saw some of the races happening because you just had to follow them in because that's all where you could turn, especially the last berm. So yeah, going back to it, I went outside and then I saw them coming up the inside. But um, later on, uh, later after I was told there was someone on the outside of me as well. So I was covering him, and then the outside one could have got through. So I went into the second berm, covering the inside as much as I could safely because it was wet still at that point. Um, yeah, and then he kept inside of me and then uh, I've heard him like skid into me not skid into me but like he turned because I turned he turned even sharper and his back all went a bit but he held it and then he kept it going and then um, he hit he not hit he pushed the guy that was on the outside of me he kind of moved over onto the third straight uh, going into the last berm he pushed him right up so he secured second so yeah, I won that one, but going in, yeah, the fourth straight was, was just, I was just trying to keep it going because it was just like, blah, 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 to a nice, like, continuous track. So, on to race two. Race two was much of the same, but it was started off from gate eight this time, I think, so that was all the way on the left, so going into the berm, you had to, like, diagonal across. So, 
not going from gate eight, I knew I had to outgate them a bit more so I could, well, outgate them so I could move over a bit more. And that's exactly what I did. I surprised myself. I came out the gate and then I was expecting to see like one or two on the inside, but I don't know what happened. They, I just, I just went through. So I tried to keep that going. So yeah, I went. Uh, yeah, it was pretty much the same race to be honest uh, all day. Uh, coming out the first berm, I saw them on the inside. Went inside, no one was on the outside of me. So I just kept it going. I, I think Brixton is the second straight. The second straight is a roller and then a roller and then a, a little step up, step down, straight thing. Like at Merton, but worse. So I, I began to like pump manual down that just to, just for a bit of fun, I guess, because I haven't, haven't manual day before. So yeah, it was pretty much the same race. And then the fourth straight, I had to like survive that again. So it was on to race three. And race three, as you might imagine, bring the same same kind of setup, but from gate six this time. So yeah, it was a bit less than eight. Um, well, obviously. <laughs> so it's it two gates over. So I, I just had to do what I did out of gate eight, and uh, I think I did. So yeah, same race, same same track, same awful track. Um, I think it started raining at this point because they were just taking absolutely ages. So yeah, and then we had to wait, after that race, we had to wait for the final because we had less than eight people that day, so it was a Grand Prix. So instead of having three motos and qualifying for the final and then whoever comes in the final win, it like gets that place, you got you get uh, you have four motos instead, so they all count for the points instead, if you get what I'm saying. So the final, uh, I should have footage of this if uh, I, I'm allowed to use it. Um, and yeah, I had, well, it wasn't. It wasn't a final. It was a fourth motor, like I said. So I just got put into gate one. So I saw that and thought I really didn't want gate one because of the blimmin' like death drop next to me. So yeah, I just had a decent gate again because I, I actually like their gate. Their gate is the best part of that track. And yeah, um, going on the inside this time though, I felt in my third moto something. It sounded like my back wheel had loosened and like. When I went over the jump, it like moved sideways, but checking back on it, nothing happened. So, yeah, uh, going into this race, I was a bit hesitant because when I went to the first berm, I heard like a clunk, and I thought, uh oh, I've just got to survive this out now because I, I, lots of thoughts in my head about what a part of my bike had like made that noise, but one of them was the chain. So if the chain had gone, I was pretty much hopeless because if well, if going into the first berm, if my chain had gone, I couldn't pedal around that berm. And then I would have to like pump the rest of the track. So luckily that that wasn't the case. Um, yeah. So by that point I was just like trying to get my bike home because trying to get a bike to the finish line because I didn't want to be on the floor. <laughs> so yeah, if you if I've got the footage, I'll enjoy it now. Um, yeah. All right, guy goes down. My lap's been on it all day. Pope has got a bit between his teeth. Oh my god. Make it easy, Luke, you're driving me home. But uh, it is Mawa out there at a moment. Looking good. Is he going to do it coming round? Oh, he's all over the shop. But uh, Jack Mawa, he's about 15 years old. Oh, the legs are gone. The legs have gone. But uh, Mawa's going to go. Oh, he's eating everything. He's got square wheels. So yeah guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be race recaps because I think there is a, another winter series happening. I'm not sure what the dates are yet, but I'll hopefully have GoPro footage with them because I'm allowed to ride my GoPro. So thanks for watching this video guys. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe because we are going up. Well, I've, I've, everyone, new people are joining, enjoying the content. So yeah, and if you like this video, click the like button, which is down here somewhere. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.